Hello everybody, and welcome back to Banished! That's right, we're back, um, and I'm starting a new world, because we are going to be using Colonial Charter New Frontier, as opposed to Iron Curtain. Um, this mod adds a bunch more stuff than just the Iron Curtain. Um, sorry if you were hoping to see more of Iron Curtain. Um, I, I, got, I got really busy and I couldn't record, so, and I don't really... I'm sure if I hopped in, I might be able to find out where we were, but this one has a bunch more stuff, and I'm really interested in some of it. So um, I already know what we're going to do, and we'll get right into the game. But we've got um, New Frontier. Uh, we still have the two floor houses and Japanese facilities. I don't know if we'll be using these ones, because there's some normal ones that um, look really interesting. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go in, start a new game. Uh, we'll play on large. Um, we're going to play on Verdant Plains, which is a new map mode added into this. Um, it doesn't have, it's got a lot of open space, but it still has some mountains and water, which is nice. Um, we are going to play on very mild climate. Um, I haven't actually done a game with this setting, um, but we'll see how it goes. And then we are going to do this, Native Village Hard. Um, what this is going to do is it says down here is um, the Native Village... Uh, sorry. Um, the native, native Village Start requires you to have good relations with the Native Tribes in the area and is a fairly hard start. The Village will require resources and upgrades to single your... To Signal your friendship, and then you'll have a choice of how you want to interact with the buildings. Um, as foreigners in this land, you have to you have much to learn and gain from seeking allies instead of enemies. So we're gonna try and um, make friends with the natives. I'm not a hundred percent sure on how to do that, um, but that's gonna be some of the fun in this. Is we're gonna figure it out as we go along. Um, before I do that, I want to name this, hmm, what would be a good town name? Let's go Wolf Vin Shire, Wolfenshire. Um, forgive spelling and atrociousness, I don't really care, but Wolfenshire will be the name of our village. So, let's, without further ado, let's go. Your country has rested all of their colonial ambitions on your venture. Your job is to ensure the survival of your country's citizens. Understood, sir. So we're basically continuing on. Wolf's Den was a thriving little village and this is another one that has been sent further inland from Wolf's Den. So, uplifting mountains, make milking. Guess it's milking the cows. Okay. Alright, so we are in here right away. So, ooh, we got some nice music going too. Dun, 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 dun. So let's, uh, let's take a look at our map real quick. Um, bring up the event logs and stuff. Uh, map. Map. Nope, I want that up. Come on. Here we go. Ooh, this is a nice map. So we got a lake down here, which is pretty nice. We might set up right on this lake because we need the shoreline for a bunch of stuff. Um, we have our river up here, and we got some mountains right here too. We can set mines up there. We got our trading river, got a couple lakes on that, got some small streams coming off of it. Ooh, we got an island. That'll be interesting. I don't know if we'll ever use it, but it'll be interesting. River comes down here. Uh, we got another mountain patches over here, which is pretty nice. Alright, so, um, 
into this game. So starting off, um, you'll notice we have a bunch of these Indian things. We'll close that. Um, we got this, which is a ceremonial ground. Um, we can put somebody as an adventurer and we can get stuff from this. And then we have these native buildings. Um, now, I believe in order to use these, we need this stuff. Um, I'm not 100% sure, because it says convert to building house. Um, we need to get, pe we need to be peaceful with our native so we can make this storage or we can make it like a boarding house um, these can also be storage or they can be houses and actually you know what? I want to see can I just make this into a house right now I can uh, okay so it needs to be upgraded so yeah we need um 25 arrowheads and two of whatever those things are um, this is a nice thing in this mod is it has this which will um, it's pretty much a list of every all the different supplies, how we get them and stuff, which is what the other one was lacking in. Um, I mean, it, we couldn't always figure out. I couldn't always figure out what everything was. So this is nice because it allows to just come in here. We can look and see what something is based on the icon. Um, now that looked like a musket, so that's what I'm going to assume that it is. And these are alphabetical, so go ahead, scroll down. There it is. So yeah, we need a musket, which is built at a blacksmith. Um, hold on a second. Okay. Um, so we'll need to build a blacksmith for that. Sorry about that. Um, and we will... And we'll need arrowheads. So arrowheads we get from the ceremonial ground. Um, so I'll put an adventure on that. And then the muskets we will have to acquire some other way. I think that might be corn, but I'm not sure. Let's check this again. Um, doo -doo -doo. So yeah, I might scroll through this quite a bit on camera. I'll, so I'll try and, if I need to fight, figure something out, not do it. Here we go. Native artifacts. Um, we get those from native monuments. I think that's... No, that's a totem pole. I don't know what the native monument is. We'll have to find that. Um, but yeah, we also have a whole bunch of houses. Ooh. A salt box house. Yeah, we have a, like, a lot of different houses now. Ooh, we got... Right, that's part of that one country house we've got really tall houses we got long houses yeah, we got loads of houses we've got loads of different kinds of road we can make moss road um, we got all the storages here we got these little tabs that click up and do things so I've gone through most of these tabs and to see what they are and it's pretty simple straightforward so um, yeah so to start off we don't have a lot of supplies because this is a hard start we have only 20 coats 20 tools 100 firewood and um, some potatoes so to start off we're gonna want to clear an area and start collecting food as well so oh, so this area is kind of cleared we want I think I'll build a house, or should we just move everything over to the shore? Let's. I want to set up like in this middle area and expand in this middle area. So I think what we're gonna do. Um, we also have all these buttons. We can alter terrain as well, which is pretty cool. Um, we can collect wild foods. We can collect stone and iron in the same click. So we're going to assign all of these trees to get collected and all of these stone and iron in this area as well. So, and then let's set up some stockpiles for that stuff. Um, we'll just use a generic everything goes here stockpile. So put that there and have the people start working. So They'll all go get their tools, get their stuff. We have eight adults and nine children. 
19, 17 people in all, total. So we'll clear this area, and then we need to start building houses, like, right away. Um, so, ooh, so we've got tiny shacks, which are the same from the other game, and we got log cabins. So we'll probably go with the log cabins. They're not that expensive. Um, look pretty cool. Um, wooden houses are actually cheaper. Uh, at least they take less stone. Um, so we need to get this stuff set up pretty quickly. Um, let's bring up... Oh, we also have all of this for the jobs. We can assign... We have all these different versions of the job windows we can open up, so... Alright, so, um, we also need to get food started right away, so... I think the best thing we're gonna do ha do is to do a have a gatherer and a hunter. So we'll go ahead and set up a gathering hut. Mm. We want to build there, so let's put the gathering hut down here. Or should up here be good? I think up here is. Mm. Yeah, we'll go up here. Yeah. Set that there, and set a hunting cabin probably up with it. Look at all this different. Look, they're set up differently so that the roads can go through them better. That's pretty cool. So we've got this. Um, let's assign a couple builders so that we can get this stuff started. Let's get five, three builders so that they can start building things. And log cabins or wooden houses. I think we'll do a mix of each. Um, where'd that gatherer's hut go? Crap. Actually, we can just, you know what, we should set, um, have them collect any wild foods in this area as well. Yeah, there's a couple. Get those collected as well. Alright, so. Getting this going. We have very little coats. Um, I know the tanner is here. The tailor, I mean. Not tanner. Oh, we do. There is a tanner, though. That's pretty which is pretty cool. So we can start making, we can make hide stuff. Bedding maker, ooh, that's interesting. But we'll need a tailor. So we'll need a tailor, we'll need a blacksmith, we will, and we'll need food. Those are gonna be our three primary buildings that we need to start off with right away. So we'll have the gatherer up here. I know I put you up here. There. No? Where is it? Well, this is awkward. Hmm. There it is, right there. Okay. Um, there is deer up there, so I suppose a hunting lodge up there would be a good idea. So let's go ahead, let's set this... Um, a little bit off. Let's set that there. So that's there. And then we actually will probably need to build some houses in here to start with. So we'll build some wooden houses in our open area. So let's go ahead. Get a couple of those in there. How many builders do we have right now? get four builders, four laborers. Alright. Go ahead, go on speed two. We got... Mm, this area might have been a little bit over the top. But we're gonna need it, so... We just need to wait for people to finish doing stuff. And hopefully they can get it done fairly quickly. All right, so bum, 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 ba, da, 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 da. 
let's see how we do. So who do we got? Let's see, we got you. Who are you? Anastasi. 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 You are... Merlin! Hey, Merlin! Hello! What are you up to, Merlin? Who are you? Avalence. We got Merlin. Merlin's a child at our settlement. That's pretty cool. Maxwell. Maxwelly. Hello, Maxwelly. Alright, so these should get built up fairly quickly, because they're right by the stockpile. Um, we've got this cart to store our supplies for now. We'll have to get a storage barn or something. Probably fairly quickly. Ooh, and we've got all of these um, different kinds of trading ports and things. Um, like we've got a chartered company. We got native trader. The native trader will probably come in handy. A trader will trade items with natives. So we'll probably need that to interact with the natives around us. Um, and we have a small barn. The small barn is probably going to be our first storage building. Ooh! Merlin has become an adult and is now working as a laborer. Good for you, Merlin. You can use your wizarding skills to help us. I think I want to put some log cabins in, out here. Are there different versions, or are they all the same? Oh, there are different versions. Cool. Looks like a, only a couple, but that's still pretty cool. Got like two different models for the log cabin. So let's let's go ahead and set up one. We'll leave some space in between the log cabins. Two log cabins out here. Actually, we probably should have the houses here and the log cabins over here. Aha! There we go. Now, what about our stuff up here? no luck on them yet. Right, another thing we could do right away while we're waiting for those is set up a farm, which might not be a bad idea, and get some farmers. Let's make a small... Let's make a small 9x9 nine nine farm. That stuff will get cleared eventually, hopefully. And we should be able to get at least some food from that. So this is going to be a hard start. Um, we'll see how things go. But I think, ooh, Joanne Mary has become an adult and is working as a laborer. Fantastic. All right, so we got our first house up. We got Laric, Claria, and Hedwina all living there. All right, so I think this is going to be the end of the episode. Um, I'm going to try and keep these around 20 minutes. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do two a week or one a week, but we'll figure that out as we go. And yeah, um, thank you all for tuning in and watching this episode. And I hope you will come back for more as we try and make this settlement, make this village survive and thrive and hopefully have some native interaction. Um, so anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.